we have a special guest. Sharon Tay is with us. Hi. Anchor of uh, KCAL 9 News, 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Hey, old friend. It's I don't mean old hey. in terms of your old, but our friendship is old. <laughs> well, yeah, we've known each other a long time. <laughs> no, 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 like 20, I'm thinking about. 20 when something. I, when I filled in for Sam Rubin when you were at Channel 5, uh, right. that would have been, yeah, that would have been over 20, 20 something years, years ago. Yeah. Long well, time. And you have an age to bed. Uh, and you as well. Uh, before you. we get into the business here, yeah. your dog, I'm in love with your dog. He's amazing, isn't he? Yeah, what, is he, is he a black lab? Yeah, he's a black lab. He is a senior. I, I got him about a year and a half ago. And he, I, we think he was seven. Um, and yeah, he's an older dog. He is the love. He is such a lover. What's his he, name? I call, his name is Maverick. Oh, so cute. Aww. So cute. Yeah. And he's like a Velcro dog. I call him a Velcro dog because he's just always on me. I think he's just grateful. <laughs> I yeah. feel it. Yeah. Well, you I've know? got a black lab. It's a she. Her name is Georgia. And it's it just like, Aww. especially now, we've all been talking about how pets have been our lifesavers. But especially now, it's just the best to be able to spend time with them. Yeah, it, they are they are our guardian angels, you know, and and they offer you so so much comfort in in a normal life that um, in this in this day and age, it's like you need them more because they are are there for you all the time. It's so true. And speaking mm -hmm. of being there for others, let's yes. talk about iHeartRadio is teaming up with the Chargers yeah. and KCAL and CBS and LAUSD to help students and their families who are really overwhelmed and struggling. Tell us a little bit more about what we're all doing together. Yeah, well, iHeartRadio, the LA Chargers, um, KCAL and CBS, we've all teamed up to create this fundraiser. Um, it is going to benefit students of LAUSD. It's called LA Students Most in Need. That is the fundraising title of this. Um, all the money that's being raised is going to go help these kids by giving them supplies, um, giving them notebooks. We're talking um, supplying them with internet con connections because a lot of these kids don't have internet connections. Mm. Uh, again, remember, this is unprecedented. So, you know, taking classes online, that's all new. They normally went to school every single day. They had the, the tools in front of them. They had the equipment in front of them and the technology in front of them. So this is unprecedented. So we going home and, and learning from home is a whole different ball game for them. They don't have the, the, the internet connections. They don't have the, the, the computers or, or the notepads that they need. So we're trying to come together. We're going to raise money for them. Um, LAUSD has given a lot of money to try to um, help with them, help with the, the kids there. Um, but apparently a lot of them um, are not logging online because they a, don't have the, the connection and they don't have the computers. I've heard stories where some of these kids have to go to uh, their neighbor's house to get a computer and log on to take classes. This is unacceptable. So we're trying to, to raise money so that we can help them go to school during this time. It is so true. We were talking to the superintendent yesterday of LAUSD. And yeah. one of the things that I heard so much from our listeners is parents who are working, it's very frustrating because they're, you know, they're, they're trying to log on. They can't get on. It's taking too much time. Then they got to get to work. Then they can't supervise their kids. And so in, in addition to the, the lack of technology they may have, there's just the fact that they can't be there to see if their kids are doing what they need to be doing. And so I think right. everyone's feeling that this heightened sensation of frustration. And his message was, hey, look, we're trying to do all we can and we will be patient with families and we're going to have to change the rules of how things are going to work and work out. So listen, if you want to yeah. text need, you can text N E E D to seven, six, two, seven, eight. This is local here in Los Angeles for LAUSD, those students and those families. Or you go to kissfm.com slash give. Uh, Sharon, I also want to yeah, mention one more thing that the money will also be um, donated to help feed these kids because a lot of these yeah. kids aren't getting meals. Well, yeah, LAUSD feeds parents nearly are already struggling. 500,000 people a day uh, yeah. at grab and go locations. So, this is to help with that food as well. And hey, I just want to say, you know, seeing you in your role, in your job locally, yeah. giving us information as a community, thank you for what you're doing as an anchor. We appreciate thank you. it. Oh, no, yeah. gosh. You know, my pleasure. This is what we do, it's who yeah. we are. We, we come together and we help each other. Well, take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, you too. Okay. Sharon Tay, everybody.